Hey guys, welcome back to Flute Tutorial Videos from Radhi Flutes. In this session, we'll be continuing with the Alankas. I hope you're practicing and noting down the Alankas properly. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with our third Alankar. Pause the video and write it down. Now the basics, again, this Alanka is of four seconds, but there is a dash in the end. So it's going to be Sa, 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 Re, Re, Re. I'm elongating the third swear because the dash is just after that, right? And dash means you'll have to elongate the swear. So let me show you how it's played with the beats. If you have practiced the first two alankas enough and properly, you won't be having any trouble with the third alankar. Moving on to our fourth alankar. Pause the video and write it down. As you can see, this alankar is also of 4 seconds, but in this alankar, we don't have any dashes. The only challenge in this alankar is that you'll have to breathe in in the right places and you'll have to be quick. Because if you breathe in in the wrong place, you'll miss a beat. But I'm pretty sure that you won't have any problem with this alankar because this alankar goes with the rhythm and you just have to blend in it. Let me show you. Just make sure that the sound is clear and you're able to hear each word four times clearly. Okay, it should not blend in. So we'll do one more alankar in this session, the fifth alankar, just to give you a different pattern because every time it's not going to be one sa, two sa, three sa, four sa's and then five sa, six sa's. Okay, now this is a different pattern. So first write it down and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so as I told you, as we go up, the difficulty level increases. But it's not that difficult. Actually, these alankas will help you with your finger movements. It'll make it quick. So it's going to be Sa Re Ga Re Ga Ma. So you'll have to stretch the last word because there's a dash. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Let me show it to you. Now this alankar needs a bit of practice to do it correctly because the transition part in this alankar is a bit difficult because that's the way of flute and you'll have to practice it accordingly. It's not a simple instrument, you'll have to give it time. Okay, I think I've given you enough homework for this session. Okay, so make sure you practice it well and do not move forward with the sessions if you haven't. You'll have to treat these sessions like a life class. 
you'll have to respect the way you learn and you'll have to respect your instrument as well so be disciplined about it and give it a time okay see you in the next session